I'm going to try a little test here with the SB102, the K3, and the pan adapter to see uh, what uh, how close we are in CW mode transmit and receive. So let me run this down for you real quick. We've got the SB102 here with the CW filter on. We've got the K3 and the pan adapter set up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit a little bit on the K3 and I'm going to tune it in at about 650 hertz or 700 hertz pitch on the SB102 and then I'm going to transmit on the SB102 and use the pan adapter to measure how far off in frequency um, we are. So that's the plan. Let me try to get this set up and uh, we'll see how it works. Alright, I think we're ready to go here now. I'm going to send my call a couple of times on the K3 and tune it in on the um, SB102. That's how we're going to start. So, here we go. Okay, I think that's probably pretty close to the pitch that I would normally like. I have a little bit of a ground loop uh, problem here, so ignore that buzz. Uh, believe me, the uh, transmit signal out of the K3 is uh, very clean. Okay, so I've got it tuned in. Now, let me transmit back as if I were replying to this guy's CQ. So, uh, I'll just hit one of my memories here. You can see on the pan adapter here that I'm a little bit off. And we'll use the marker to uh, find out exactly how far that is. So, let me try that again. Oh, a little CQ here. Might as well stop that. Alright, so let's see what we have here. We started off at uh, 7020 exactly, and our shift was 7019.91. That's 90 hertz. So we responded to that CQ uh, 90 hertz off his frequency, which um, ought to be close enough. And, it, you know, depending on the pitch that you initially tune it in at, has an effect on how close that is. So anyway, pretty good. Pretty big improvement over 1100 hertz, over a kilohertz away, before we move the BFO. So that's a quick demo, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Keep on tinkering. See you later.